moment. But, as those books tell us, quick opinions can often slam the door on potential. And when Nell Scavell says don't follow your dreams, follow your talent, that's the kind of insight that can change the course of a life. The amazing thing about books is that they can take you to magical places. They truly are your imagination, plus one. That's why I'm starting a book club. Because I read a lot of books, I'm going to start posting them on my website. I'll summarize a book a month and let you know why I think it's worth reading. And there'll be a place there where you can recommend books to me. Just go to terryoreilly.ca and click Terry's Book Club. Let's share. So, here's two books. May they always happily keep us under their influence. I'm Terry O'Reilly. Recorded in the Tearstream Mobile Recording Studio. Producer Debbie O'Reilly. Sound engineer Keith Oman. Theme music by Ari Posner and Ian Lefevre. Digital content producer Sydney O'Reilly. If you like this episode, you might also enjoy Bookmarks episodes from past seasons. You'll find them free in our archives wherever you download your podcasts. See you next week. Under the influence. The crowd is just on its feet here. This is CBC Radio 1, 99.1 FM in Toronto. Hi, I'm Asha Tomlinson. And I'm David Common. And we're hosts of CBC Marketplace. We're award-winning investigative journalists that want to help you avoid clever scams, unsafe products, and sketchy services. Our TV show has been Canada's top investigative consumer watchdog for more than 50 years, but this is our first podcast. CBC Marketplace podcast is available now on the CBC Listen app or wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Amanda Pfeffer, coming up on Ontario Today, why new mandatory screening for readers won't be mandatory this year. Parents expect that students will be screened as early as possible to identify potential issues. What happens when reading problems are not caught early? Next. This is CBC News. From CBC Toronto, here is the news at 12 o'clock. Sunny, 18 degrees in the city. Good afternoon. I'm Jasmine Sepulis. A news conference held by Premier Doug Ford became heated this morning as he responded to questions about an Integrity Commissioner report. It found